Hi everyone, Rashida here again. So yes, you guys are right. We are going to read a book. And the book is Goldilocks and the Three Bears. So it's about a little girl and three bears. So let's see who wrote this book for us. It says based on the story written in 1904. Mm more than 100 years back. Who wrote it? By John Hassel and retold by Jane Monmouth. Mm, so retold. So retold means when somebody wrote a story and then another person is telling the same story in her or his own way her in her style okay but the story is same so that that is called retold so let's see so here i hope you guys can see the picture look that's the goldilocks and three bears here so once upon a time there were three bears and there was a great big papa bear and medium sized mama bear and a wee little baby bear. So the three bears lived together in a little cottage in the middle of a forest. Turn the page. So every morning papa bear made the beds. So the great big bed for papa bear and the medium sized bed for mama bear and the wee little bed for our little bear. Beside the fireplace there were three different sized chairs. So the great big chair for papa bear and the medium sized chair was for mama bear and the wee little rocking chair is for our baby bear. Baby bear rocked in his chair while mama bear cooked a pot of porridge. So when the porridge was cooked, the three bears sat down to eat their breakfast. Big great bowl for papa bear and a medium sized bowl for mummy bear and a wee little bowl for our little bear. But then they found the porridge was too hot to eat. The mama bear and at that time said, why don't we take a walk while we wait for our porridge to cool? And everybody liked it. They said, yeah, let's go. So the three bears just said, or for a pleasant walk in the forest. When our three bears are out in the forest for a walk, let's sing a song about a little bear who is trying to explore her neighborhood. The bear went over the mountain, the bear went over the mountain, the bear went over the mountain to see what she could see and all that she could see and all that she could see was the other side of the mountain the other side of the mountain the other side of the mountain was all that she could see hmm. now the bear crossing the river the bear went across the river the bear went across the river the bear went across the river to see what she could see and all that she could see all that she could see was the other side of the river other side of the river the other side of the river was all that she could see hmm. now she is going through the forest the bear went through the forest, the bear went through the forest, the bear went through the forest to see what she could see. 
and all that she could see and all that she could see was the other side of the forest the other side of the forest the other side of the forest was all that she could see now the bear is climbing up the big tree the bear climb up the big tree the bear climb up the big tree the bear climb up the big tree to see what she could see and all that she could see and all that she could see was the forest river and mountain forest river and mountain the forest river and mountain was all that she could see so she explored her neighborhood she saw all the other side of the mountain river forest and when she climbed up at the top of the tree she saw everything right okay it's time to read the rest of our story so when the bear went for a walk there was a little girl passing by their cottage so the little girl saw a very cozy beautiful cottage so she stopped there she knocked at the door yeah knock knock but she didn't get get any answer because nobody was there all the bears went for a walk right so she knocked again nobody opened the door and then you know what did she do she did something very impolite so impolite means friends the opposite of polite so she did something not nice she opened the door and walked right inside the house so the first thing she noticed were the three bowl on the table full of porridge and on that morning goldilocks didn't have her breakfast she was really hungry so the papa bear's bowl she tried a spoonful of porridge but she didn't like it you know why she didn't like it because it was too hot for her and then she tried the mama bear's medium sized bowl and she found it too cold not right for her then she saw our wee little bear small bowl so she tried from that bowl and she just found it right for her and she found it so yummy she finished all the porridge in that bowl she went upstairs and in upstairs she found three different sizes bed the great big bed of papa bear it's too hard not for me so then she tried the medium size bed too soft not for me and then she found a wee little bed she just found it right for her so what she did snuggling under the cozy quilt she fell fast asleep then the three bears came back for their breakfast right first thing papa bear noticed was their front door and it was open so three bears hurried inside and our little bear found that somebody broke his chair into pieces and the baby bear exclaimed well someone has been sleeping in my bed she is still there so at the sound of baby bear's loud voice goldilock just woke up with a little scream she jumped off baby bear's bed ran down the stairs and out the front door she was running and running as fast as possible she just 
left that house and she didn't stop she was she kept running running and running until she was all the way home so in this story they said she had learned a lesson goldilocks never again went into a house when no one was home so yeah friends like if we knock at the door if nobody opens the door we don't go inside right that's not nice we have to wait for the people inside right so but goldilocks didn't wait she just did something as they said impolite right so we also learned something right friends what did we learn we learned a word that says impolite which is the opposite of polite and we learn how to describe sizes if we have three different sizes like this i have three different sizes this remote here as you guys can see the big medium and small so when we describe three things like this we can say big medium and small i hope you guys like the story and that's all for today and i will come back with another beautiful story for you all